mage here. Back in the nether. We built a little structure around this nether portal. Safer, better looking. All that good stuff. And a better route down to the blaze farm. A little it's here. I kind of like that. All right. And I had finished the wiring on the blaze farm. Running before. Now it's running much easier. Get in there real quick. is probably AFK here. And he's been AFK long enough to accumulate a full-size grouping of jackasses. Well, he's been AFK for a long time. And that's why we have this safety system. Aren't any aren't going to be any more spawning. Cuz, you know, safety down there and demonstrate what this thing could do. So by the time the thing stops, there will be... Well, at 141, it will stop producing more blades. But, it's 158 down in there. Just now. The ones that are in the pipe keep coming. Alright, I was le level 15. See where this takes us up to. As long as the switch up top is switched on, all of this runs. There's just one switch. Here we go. Run up there. Take a quick look at this. Get the amazingness of this. There he is. One switch. Up for off. Down for on. That's all there's to that's all there is to it. As long as it's on, it will keep running. Cycles through various ones. Gate up top, lets them in, they fall down. It closes, trapping them. Gets, the block gets pushed into their heads. And once it's been there long enough for them to be down to one hit point, Stops, and this one retracts, let's fall down. And there they are. One hit point. Swipe with a there we go. Crushed. Crush, 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 crush. It's done. And if that opens up, they fall down there. Excellent. And I left, like, some windows here, so you can look back and see some of that redstone back there. I did not do that redstone on camera, for a very damn good reason. At least keep cycling through continuously. All the ones at the bottom are at half a hit point. But, yeah. It's a little bit, um, noxiously complex. This brings down the signal from that switch up at the top. And this stops it. And it stops it at the stage where the trapping one, the uppermost block, has just closed. No more will fall through. But it will go ahead and yeah, finish the cycle. This route goes over here to be attached to the lava lighting. And you have monosteel circuit. Whenever this one, that timer, or the trapping one, finishes letting some in and then closes again, sets off this monosteel circuit, falling edge, sending a pulse over here, which starts this timer. Is that right? Yeah, wait, okay, that's not for us. This is the letting him in one. In. 
else. Let's him in, and then boom, and then the thing remains closed. Alright, so... They've just fallen in. Let's have the pulse over here. This little timer lets him fall down. Then that sends... So you know, this monosyllable circuit which requires pulse extender, and another pulse extender. Get the whole time you need for this to crush them. Once they're crushed, another popper dropper monster level circuit. And the pulse here starts this timer. And bam! It's done. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he got his kill on. He was like waiting for that. <laughs> Here, sort of the end of that line that was going from that comes all the way up. Lava lighting. This, of course, probably saw it before if you watched the other part of the video for this. It's piston, produces lava, but that's also at the very bottom tied into that pressure plate down here. I feel an urge to show people this. All the way down. <coughs> Circling around the torch tower. Here, this comes from the lever. You can turn it off with the lever. Or, down here, that's the block upon which our weighted pressure plate, iron heavy weighted pressure plate, sits on. And. Once it's up to its max power, there'll be enough to send it signal all the way down this to the start of this torch tower. Bam. Let's see how we get out of here. <laughs> I don't think that window should be there. This should actually be replaced with something that a gas can't blow up. Uh, but, you know, they're probably not going to shoot at us. There's something to shoot out there, and we'll wait on that. Yep. I just like the view. Wait, let me get down here real quick. Okay, there's a few there. That'll get dropped down in a second. Yep, alright. Another little fun feature I added. Just do a filling in all the decoration. Which I kinda like. Chanting setup, crafting area, ender chest. Not the crazy on architecture, but it ain't bad. I like pattern far side. Yeah, it's good. Here, special AFK area. Lighting, can't see. Lighting that won't let any light through the air. Sit right here. I think we'll come in and get you. Be totally safe, even if there's some glitch in, or I missed a spot when I was slabbing up top or something. <coughs> Which I did earlier. They actually burnt a uh, blaze spawned just from being in a fortress over in a corner somewhere. I burnt all my bookshelves. And I replaced all of them, except for one. Kind of unfortunate. You hang out here. Push F3. You track how many blazes you have. Yeah. 27 so far. And here, get on this spot, drop an item, stake, get sucked up, click on that chest real quick. And this is all our stuff. Your books, bubble, stake, whatever you drop gets put into this chest. And then the thing closes. We can't even tell what you're looking at. You're just standing in a corner. Nothing to see here. Nothing whatsoever. What enchantments is offering us? Let's find out. Punch one. Wait, level 30 enchantment? Punch one. Really? That's just, I mean... Just terrible. I mean, super terrible. Wow!
of that, just to see what the next one is. Unbreaking 3, that's one I'm super looking for. Alright, so I can do one more middle level 30 enchant. Luck of the C2? Eh. Why not? This one, stay here, maybe get combined with something. Be very quick with that. But you also can just drop things you want on that spot, and they'll get sucked into the chest. If you drop like a whole stack of things, that piston just keeps going and going and going and going. And yeah, it's a pretty. I don't know. Just to like, as an example. Yeah, anyway. <coughs> Alright, let's turn this back off. One switch. And this stops all that big redstone stuff down there from running. And of course, it activates a lot of lighting as well. Should stop at the correct stage. Just after having released the last handful of plates. Completed, fully functional blaze spawner, nice pathway back, and a well protected nether entrance. Hooray! Woo! And I'm out.